find something to do. It is vital to be productively engaged. Find something to do. I love the testimony of one of our brothers. He said that he was a graduate and could not get a job. And he went and began to sell firewood. And from there, God began to bless him. By the time he was sharing his testimony, he had a number of filling stations that God had given to him already. Find something to do. Don't wait as it were for opportunities. Create opportunities. Find something to do. This is a vital necessity in our day and our age. And particularly to those of us youth, it's important for us to take note. It is painful to see youth gathered around those betting houses, betting life away, claiming to have winning numbers, and losing out on the journey of life. Not again. I said not again. I said not again. I said not again. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said not again. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said not again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never live life at the mercy of other people's benevolence. Sitting down doing nothing waiting for something as it were to happen a young man stood on this altar and he said he heard from god's servant how that we must engage and do something and he said he was at home and the parents drove him away from home he said that's when he knew that yes i must take responsibility now he didn't get angry that they drove him out of the house he saw it as now it is time for me to take responsibility and before you knew it he began to break through refuse to be idle do something shout hallelujah refuse to be idle do something take responsibility take charge in the journey of life shout hallelujah this is so important god's blessing comes upon the things that we are doing so doing nothing means god's blessing touches nothing and one billion times zero is zero say with me i must labor Say it like you mean it, I must labor. Say it again like you mean it, I must labor. Say it again like you mean it, I must labor. This is a vital difference maker in the journey of life. A vital difference maker in the journey of life. I can't forget when I was in university, God's servant had a conversation with me and he said something. He said, look, take responsibility and find something to do he said because there is a difference between the tithe you pay from the labor of your hands and the tithe you pay from what comes free to your hands it entered into me i went straight i was in tour i was in second year in school i went straight to go and look for a job the job i got there was a cleaning job I was cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and I was tightening from my cleaning. And from then till forever, nothing has ever finished in my hand. Just take charge. My grandfather said something, he has shared this before. He said, they came to him and said, uh, why, why keep going around collecting the rent and all of that from your houses and so forth? Just, he said, where, where will I pay my tithe from? And he said, pay tithe from the things that were given to you. He said, no, God knows who has that money. He knows, he knows. He knows that that one is a free money. When he's looking for who to bless in return, he will look for the person who has the money to bless that person. There is nothing in doing nothing. Say with me, I will do 